Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children all ages, goes on your favorite random man for taking a YouTube tenth was in the building today. How you guys doing? I know that's like a mouthful to say. I've been, <laughs> I've been saying that for years now. So, anyways, guys, um, I just want to do another reaction to uh, Sonic because uh, news is popping out. The fun base is diverse. You mean f oh. bad? That the the, the director I want to say is a uh, Jeff uh, Fowler. Uh, the backlash was so heavy, guys. The backlash was so heavy for the uh, Sonic trailer, and it's like because of, it's mostly because of design as Sonic. Don't you see the design? Like I said, I got a picture popped up there. Those you have seen the design, it is bad. It's really her horrendously bad. I can't see how bad enough it is. But uh, Jeff has said this. He said, "Thank you for your support and the criticism. The message is loud and clear." You aren't happy with design and you want changes. It's going to happen. Everyone at Paramount and Sega are fully committed to making to making this Sonic the best he can be. Hashtag Sonic movie, hashtag gotta go fast. Now, this is my thing. You know, you know that the backlash is gonna be heavy. Why would you give us this design? And it's like, come on. Everybody and their mom, even their dads, even my mom and dad, would know that this is the most. That, God, this design for Sonic is awful. I'm spitting a little bit. Please forgive me. It is horrendously bad, and you give it to us anyway. Like, like we supposed to accept this? And I get, part of me will also get it. You kind of you're trying to use it uh, uh, for the younger audience, but even the younger audience knows who Sonic is. And for me to say that is kind of not, it's kind of a bad excuse. It's like telling your mom, my dog ate my homework and she don't believe you. You just don't. But uh, I did like in my initial review for this, for this trailer, uh, I do want to touch on something that I miss. Talking about like, first off, the guy off the song, why in the world would you pick Gangsters Paradise, and the reason I'm bringing it up because I remember I watched Johnny and I recently and I watched Corey Kenshin before I started this video because uh, I'm after I heard the news about the whole redesign of Sonic, which I am I am happy about, and I told everybody in the initial video that I will go see this movie. But uh, why use Gangsters Paradise? The Sonic songs, the, depending on what game you play, and I and I always tell people my personal favorite has always been Sonic 3 from like uh. Uh, 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 what's what's the uh, Sonic 3? Of course, the Casino Night and uh, Ice Cap Zone, and of course, Launch Base was, was my personal favorite. But uh, um, uh, sorry, Carnival Night, excuse me. Uh, it, it's like you could have used something completely different, and and you and you use Gangsta's Paradise. And no, those you who knows Gangsta Paradise, y'all know that y'all know the uh, the the tone for it. It's pretty much like uh, again, like I said, I, I should have looked at it, but uh, it, it, it's not it's not fitting for a Sonic movie, and um, so I'm like, so I, I get it what what Johnny was saying. Then when I made mention about um, Jim Carrey playing, uh, I hate when I say I'm so tired. <laughs> when Jim Carrey playing Dr. Robotnik, uh, one thing Johnny pointed out, I'm, and I'm going to point it out here too, uh, that might be. And I didn't think until I watched, rewatched the trailer. Uh, that might be like towards the ending when he got his iconic mustache and bald head. So that that can also be a thing. And the whole redesign for Sonic. And since I want to call a win, I definitely want to call a W for us fans. But at the same time, we really didn't win unless the character uh, looks like how we like how we wanted to look. And uh, then I can actually call that a W because right now that's a W with a question mark because it's like you, you want to believe that you want to believe that they're doing it for the right reasons, which uh, which is the thing I also want to nag on about, but not really nag on about because when you're making a video game movie, it's a lot of stuff to go into it. Because uh, again, I watched uh, and this is way before the uh, design happened with this guy. Was, I wish I could remember his name, but it escaped me. Uh, he was pretty much talking about adapting how, how Hollywood adapt video games into movies. 
and not and he, he had a lot of good points saying that uh it's all in the writing and directing which i agree on 100 percent but it's it, it gotta be more of a, this person has to be a fan of this um of this franchise of this iconic character case in point because i'm really not gonna say something i might have to do like a whole nother video about this but i i really want to touch on it because uh i look at paul as uh paul w as anderson and uh he you know of course he directed like the, the very first mortal kombat movie then he directed on the resident evil movies uh for mortal kombat to do as well as it did i think like the mid 90s i want to say i could be possibly wrong but in the mid 90s mortal kombat for being a mature rated game to make it pg-13 and still have some fatalities in there it it worked it's some type of way it worked for for that time and that era it worked because he, he what he did instead of um instead of that i'm gonna say instead of adapting the game to the to the movie no no he, instead of definitely it's weird because again i gotta redo my research but he some type of way he adapted uh the game and using the lore of Mortal Kombat what made Mortal Kombat great. And that's and that's the one thing I personally me that I love. I love the fact that he took the time and the effort to um to give to give the fans what they want. And it, and I always say this when when it's when there, where it's a comic book or video game, I get what the director want to tell their own story. I think it's okay you do want to tell your story, but you, your vision of that shouldn't uh um over overlap or overlook what made that game that combo that anime or manga what it is once you once you do that you, you lose the fans you lose us as fans and you won't really get or understand what's going on in the movie granted he did have some changes on there but it worked but going into the whole resident evil aspect of it his excuse for making the first resident evil movie it's like it's a prequel to the first game because his mindset is like i don't want to how you say it i don't want to make make the same thing as the game because the fans won't get uh the fans like the fans already know and and they won't be good with, with this movie okay it, i hope that makes sense because <laughs> what i said because again like i said i'm doing a whole video about this so that way when i talk about it, it can be more clear and more understandable the, and the problem is like again this is a director's vision and on, on like he, he, i feel like he did like a little bit of resident evil one compared in resident evil one there was no liquors in, in, in the whole game uh resident evil two the liquors were on it i think three yeah three didn't have the liquors the liquors actually didn't come back until resident evil five okay got that taken care of we're gonna say that no well, i think the blush i was in uh not i can't remember what i think it wasn't yeah it wasn't uh the final chapter anyways 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 uh excuse me but I, it works but the problem is why you why you telling that type of story again you know i personally like one two three is i'm three is like and eh, maybe i like three but by you telling the story the other characters take a set will take a uh, uh side like we'll take with be on the sidelines look what happened with jill look what have with chris look what have with claire look what have with wesker and so many and so forth matter of fact he killed i barely got killed off in one of the movies so i get you want to tell your own story because one of the one of the uh greatest thing to me about resident evil 5 that i love so much was the whole fight scene with wesker you had uh chris and you had sheva but when you got to the point when chris and uh claire went against wesker they got easily beat by Wesker, and surprised because he got powers. But then, as like someone easily beat Wesker, I'm like, dog, come on. So again, that's I don't want to stay too much on that topic because I want to do I want to do a whole another video on that. And I and hearing what Jeff Fowler said about Sonic and about making it's like making his uh, redesign Sonic, which I again I think it's good because this is going to help the movie because right now Jim Carrey is literally carrying this movie on his back he's and he's literally carrying this movie and uh I, I, if i can find a picture i'm gonna pop it up here because i see some decent designs it's so i think it's okay to go with a realistic look but not the realistic look they going with because like it, it's okay to have realistic but all right it's okay to have that realistic sonic but have him more um more noticeable 
like like the classic Sonic. Have a realism. You can have a realism Sonic by using the, the original Sonic design. Because the Sonic we saw right there was terrible. If that make if, if that making sense to every anyone. So it's like I'm excited for this redesign. I really am. But until we actually see this redesign, I you know I'm I I, I can't I can't I don't want to get my hopes up. You know what I'm saying? So in a sense, yeah, it is a win for us. But we won't really get that W until we actually see it. Because they got from now to November to get this right. So I hope that makes sense to everybody. Uh, I way, way past the time I was going there. I know I'm sorry for stuttering and trying to get certain words out. Like I said, uh, I, I, want to, I do want to plan uh, a video for a whole reaction to talking about uh, turning video games into movies. And... Uh, no, I also want. To, and don't don't worry, guys. Like uh, next week, I will be doing the end game review. I um I I play I play I got did some clips from Marvel's Capcom Infinite. This is since I have mostly of the Avengers on there, and I'm just gotta do my voice over work with it. And then on top of that, uh, I got another I got another request to do to uh, review a sick sick ill music called Hot and Fast. I am not ready for this because uh, as there is the Chrono. <laughs> Oh, so Chrono, uh, uh, I wasn't ready for that. I really wasn't. So um, that's pretty much all I got to say about this reaction to you guys. Uh, again, I hope to, cause I, if Jeff, because it sounds like he's a fan, if it, and it works like it said it worked, then great. But I won't be too satisfied till we actually see the final product of this. But uh, make sure you like, say, subscribe, tell your friends. Your friends, your friends. <laughs> about me tell your friends about me uh come to the restaurant we do have them cookies guys we really do i just ate, i just ate them all so you know <laughs> and please i'm gonna say it again please you guys stay random and i'll see you all in the next video